Remember, Facebook ads to custom audiences are ads for people who have encountered your business before. Now, that might differ based on the audience that you're targeting, but the fact remains the same. You want to send the right message to the right person at the right time. You don't want to send the right message to the right person all the time. This is where segmentation and strategy come into play. Who gets to see which ad and when? How many times should they see it? When should they be removed from the audience? It turns out that the audience type can have a lot to do with the answers to these questions. So let's go back to Amanda and hear more about this. So uh, in terms of along that line of thinking, do you, do you find that you know, segmenting your custom audiences or could you talk a little bit about that? Like, how do you, um, how, what are the different ways that you can kind of drill into those things? I know you had just mentioned, you know, people who had been in your website in the last seven days, but are there other ways that you find that are particularly effective, especially in the early stages of kind of segmenting out those people? So in the, in the early stages, so the, the custom audiences I like to focus on are website visitors engaged with your page or your Instagram video views and customer like customer email lists. I would say, let's break those into two sections, video views and engagement. We're going to park that over here. And when we come to website visitors and email, that's if I can just make the one point that those audience members, you just want to protect them. You want to give them a great big hug. You want to take really, really, really good care of them. They are some of the most expensive to attract. Getting people onto your email list, we're, we're ballparking at least a dollar per email when it comes to your advertising. Typically, when we're talking about email, blah, 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 website visitors and your email list are generally going to be a lot more costly to attract versus video viewers and engage with page. To get people to watch a video on your page can cost you as little as one cent per 15 second view. Um, my personal ballpark for my own content, I'm a bit niche, I'm teaching Facebook advertising, not everybody cares about Facebook ads. I run around uh, 10, 11 cents per 15 second video view for my own content. So it's still cheap and cheerful. Those are cheap and cheerful audiences. You can grow them very easily at a low cost and you can, you can drive the ship. You can manipulate that audience into being a high quality audience based on how you're managing your campaigns. For example, video viewers. If you want to build an audience of video viewers and then use them as a high quality audience to retarget them at a later date based on how, how much of the video they've watched. Say, say I have a really wonderful ad campaign that I'm running and I want to retarget people who have watched 50% or more of that ad campaign video. I can do that. But if that initial video that I was running to a cold audience of people on the saved audience side is being served by Facebook in an, in an ad placement that isn't really high quality for me, for example, the audience network, if people are playing Scrabble and when they're done that, that game, they want to move on to the next, but they're forced to watch a 15 second video before they can move on. That's a forced mm. video view. And that's not necessarily a great indicator to me of audience interest. Right. So if I go to retarget and uh, retarget an audience that has been built up in size based on these forced video view placements, it's not going to result in a high quality audience for me. So over time, when I first start with, with advertising for a brand new account, I'll start with all placements, let it ride. And then I'll start to see where Facebook is delivering that content. And then I'll start to go and pull out different placements and, and manage the direction and the trajectory of that audience to grow it into a higher quality audience over time. So it's mm. a cheap and cheerful way to do it. And it's a great way when you're first starting out with your ad account to learn, to be able to learn how to read your reports, learn what's working, what's not, learn um, what age, what gender, what um, demographic, what region that you're attracting these video viewers from. Mm. And that will translate down the road into a big superpower for you when it comes to running future campaigns where you're running on a tight margin and you want to start making sales. So we don't want to retarget low quality audiences and generally video of you and engage, engage with your page or Instagram audiences can be low quality, but you can increase the quality of them over time. And then that moves us over to the website visitors and email list. They're expensive. Um, website visitors, generally anywhere from 30 cents to, to over a dollar per click to get onto your website. 
depending that these are general, those are ballpark based on the clients I work with the, there's a massive range, but sure. um, an email list, you're generally running about a dollar per email address that you're acquiring. So those audiences, those custom audiences are so valuable to you. They've cost you a lot to acquire them. So you don't want to exhaust them and you don't want to run low quality campaigns. You don't want to run experimental campaigns to them protect them. You want to take really good care of them and only give them the good stuff. You want to keep them around. All right. You need to think about who these contacts are. Are they someone who has only seen a short clip of a video or are they someone on your email list? Is this someone who is already a customer or is this someone who barely knows you at all? You have to take these things into account when you're creating the ads that you're going to put in front of these people. Now, we've talked about expectation management a lot on this show, and Facebook custom audiences are another opportunity for you to manage them correctly. Now, someone who's on your customer list expects a certain type of content from you. They don't expect to see an ad telling them who you are and asking for the sale. And depending on your business, they might not expect to see an ad for you at all. Hi, thank you for watching. If you are enjoying Growth Decoded, you can find a link in the description to sign up and join the Grow Team. You'll get exclusive content and opportunities that have to do with the show. You can also hit the subscribe button for Active Campaign's YouTube channel somewhere down here, and you will never miss an update from us.